This video takes you through engine and gearbox install. So firstly, we're gonna prep the chassis and we're gonna take out any of the powder coating that's got inside the loops on the chassis engine mounts. The way we do that, we take it out with a paddle sander. We're gonna make sure we've got plenty of molly grease on the engine mount rubbers and inside the loops. After doing this, you should be able to hand install these bushes. So you've got two rubbers, one either side, and then you have the metal center to the bush. So the metal center ends up flush with the end of the bushes. So you can go ahead and do that to the other side. We're now going on to fitting the cradle or the engine mount to the block. So all bolts are supplied. You'll find that these are handed. Go ahead and do your final fitment of these bolts. So I'm just gonna pause the video there and um, just explain a few little bits what's going on here. We've got the engine and gearbox already connected together. Now when buying an engine and gearbox from us, you'll get in-depth instructions from the manufacturer of how to put these together. I will do a little video uh, later on uh, of going over this. Also, at this point, yes, you are going to need an engine hoist. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have a forklift and when lifting the engine and gearbox the gearbox is going to hang a lot lower than the engine block itself. So back to the video what you can find is a bit of a two-man job so one man can take a little bit of the weight so we're lifting it up and over the front suspension and that person's just guiding the gearbox down to where it should go. A good tip at this point is we can put a trolley jack uh, under the uh, nose of the gearbox there that can take some of the weight and um, can sort of replace where the, the gearbox mount would go at this point. So as you can see, just guiding it in on that uh, trolley jack. And that way we can now start to sort of focus on where the engine mounts are actually going to sit. So with the gearbox being, its weight being held up by the trolley jack, we can start lowering down the engine block to meet the chassis. So it does get a little bit fiddly and um, we can manhandle it into place. Once into place, we can then bolt from the front to the back with the engine bolt supplied. And now you can see we've got it somewhere where it needs to be. We can turn our attention to the gearbox mounts. So the mount comes in two parts with one rubber bush. Again, as always, take out any of the powder coating that's got into the loops. Make sure you've got plenty of grease. You can push the rubbers in either side. Once you've got them both in, tap them home. And then you can install the center. And that'll finish nice and flush. Again, use a nice lot of grease when connecting these two parts. It makes it a lot easier. So align the two parts, give them a little tap. Line the holes. So, what we're going to do is first of all for this uh, small block 350 Chevy install, we're going to install the gearbox bolts first and then we're going to install the center pivot bolt. We're going to attach the bolts to the gearbox itself first, and what you'll find is the lower part of the gearbox mount, the wider plate at the bottom should line up with the plates on the chassis of where we're going to affix these two. We 
We're going to then going to tighten these bolts up to the gearbox nice and tight. And we're going to jack up the gearbox itself so the gearbox mount meets the chassis. We're now going to mask the bottom of the mount and we're going to mark out where to drill through the mount and the chassis. So we're going to make sure that the hole is nowhere near the chassis rail itself. So we'll take time into marking the centre line. So as you can see, now we're all marked out. We're gonna take a hand drill. We're gonna pilot drill through the gearbox mount and through the mount on the chassis. And then we're gonna open these holes up to a size of 10 mil, ready for the bolt to go through. So we're gonna go ahead and deburr any holes that have drilled and install the bolts that are supplied with the kit. And then we can go ahead and make sure all of these are done up nice and tight. And at this stage, you have a successful engine and gearbox mount installed.